Morning guys, welcome back to a new vlog. This one's another pretty long one and there is a lot of creating, a lot of clay stuff in today's vlog. So I hope that you enjoy it. I just wanted to let you guys know that my next shop update collection is coming next Wednesday, which is the 9th of November, which is coming up soon. I'm going to have a few new wheel pieces in there that I've been really excited about and a lot of old favourites as well. So that's coming up, that's what I'm kind of working towards in this video and I'll see you guys at the end and I hope you enjoy. guys it's Tuesday yesterday was just cleaning and doing boring stuff but today I am gonna be glazing and I'm gonna be glazing some greenware so they haven't been bisque fired because I'm trying to single fire some things to save some time some money and also just to experiment a little bit also I hope that my sterling silver earring backings will be coming in today so that I can glue these bad boys and actually try them on, maybe take some photos, we'll see, hopefully they arrive soon. Um, I also have an appointment today though, so that will probably take up a lot of my time and energy, so I'm just going to get started now, it's pretty early, and just plot away with some of the best selling glaze designs for my upcoming collection.
morning you guys it's Wednesday you know that when we're sitting here midweek we're gonna do a little get ready with me it's just kind of become a reoccurring theme because for some reason this always ha happens to be the time where I actually feel like talking and I need to get ready so um, how are you guys doing I thought that today we could do a little what I'm listening to what I'm obsessed with recent purchases because I listen to a lot of podcasts and I really enjoy that like segment that a lot of them do where they just talk about their current favorites so I'm gonna do the same thing the first favorite is music and I've been non-stop listening to Taylor Swift's new album I mean how could you not really like when I first listened, I was like, oh, like, this is cool, but I wasn't, like, obsessed with it, and then I just couldn't stop listening, and now I feel like I know way too many words for how long the album has been out for. Um, I don't know what it is about Taylor Swift. Like, I really feel like I'm not usually into new release albums from, like, super big artists like her, but there's just something about her. She's amazing. She's so talented and i've really been enjoying the album the next category what should we do we did music what i've been reading oh yeah that's why i brought this book what i've been reading is the four agreements it's a it is a it's a it's a wisdom book so it's like a non-fiction self-help book and it's kind of all about these four ways to live a happy life basically and I've really been enjoying it so far. I feel like it's quite different to a lot of the self-help books that I've read in the past and it's really helping me to have awareness around the words that I use when I'm talking to other people and myself to remain like kind and to try and uh, stay away from people who are um, using negative language and um, when I say that I just mean like gossip or like being mean or petty. Um, so it's, yeah, it's been a really good read so far. What else? Should we do like a favorite product? My favorite product right now. I'll go get it for you guys. Okay, my favorite product is this, um, Zero Care Sustainable Hair Care. It's just a wooden wide, wide tooth comb. But if you have, like, frizzy hair, like, you know how hard it is to, like, keep it brushed but also like make it not so that it's completely all frizz and this is amazing for that and I just think it's so cute as well like I'm just like enjoying using it it just like runs through my hair really easily because it's so wide so that's my favorite product right now and I want to give a shout out as well to a podcast I've been listening to um, it's a podcast that I always listen to and I feel like you guys would really like it um, I'm sure some of you already know about it. It's the What We Said podcast and it really just feels like you're listening to two best friends, like two of your best friends and like I think that's the only podcast where I'm like truly laughing out loud. It's, it is such a good podcast. You guys need to listen to it. Okay, I think that's all I have for like favorites but I do also just want to say that I'm so stoked with how my earrings turned out. You guys would have just seen a little video of the strawberry ones and I think I'm quite happy with how they turned out I'm not sure if there's much that I would change um, but I also just put the firing on that I packed with you guys yesterday so tomorrow we'll get to do a kiln reveal which I'm like I'm so excited so they're all single fire this time so I didn't bisque them and I'm experimenting to see if they work I did do one piece in the last firing and it worked perfectly so I'm like hoping that it all goes well but it's also an experiment so if it doesn't go well it's not the end of the world I also wanted to show you guys quickly the flower ones I wanted to wait until this one dry the glue dried a little bit more but let's try these on because I haven't tried these on yet I can't believe it's almost Christmas like I seriously feel like it was just Christmas two seconds ago and oh they are cute oh they're cute they're kind of um why do they go down like that are they just too heavy um, I think that's 
don't know. Um, yeah, I just can't believe it's almost Christmas. I like have to start sending gifts out for people who live um, internationally. So that's kind of been on my mind a lot. I've been doing a lot of shopping for people, um, which I love. I love gift giving. Probably going to make a few things for people too. Um, because I think a handmade gift always means more. These are the flower ones. What do we think, guys? Are they too big? Are they, like, I don't know. Like, I've never seen ceramic earrings, like, in person before. So, like, do we think they're cute? I'm not too sure if, like, people will like them enough for me to make them and sell them. So, I might post some photos within the next week or so to see what people think of them. Anyway, I really don't have much to do today. We might do some throwing and pinching at some stage, but to be honest, I kind of want to lay low today because yesterday I really like smashed out way more work than I expected. So I kind of can afford to take a bit of rest time today, which will be really nice. worked better than I thought. Um, so in the past I was bisque firing to 980 degrees Celsius and then firing to cone 6 which is 1220 degrees Celsius and this time I just left it on a three hour hold under 100 degrees to let the greenware um, sweat out any of the moisture that it had and then from there I did a regular glaze firing. So I think in total the firing was about 11 hours um, because I really wanted to give the greenware that time to um, sweat and for all of the moisture to come out before reaching 100 degrees, which is boiling point. So if there's any moisture stuck in the clay after 100 degrees, that's when explosions will happen. So I let it sit under 100 degrees for three hours and then did a regular glaze firing and they turned out amazing. I've got some of my wheel thrown pieces that I've been working on and I just think they turned out beautifully like I really didn't expect them to look so normal and I actually feel like the colors are a little bit brighter which is cool um what else do I have to show you guys this little wheel thrown 
mini bowl trinket dish whatever it's gonna be turned out really cute um i had some things stick to the kiln a tiny bit i think this b1 has a few chips on it but usually i just sell them at markets for less or do a sample sale on my story but still turned out really good like i'm i'm really shocked and pleased because i'm gonna start firing this way a lot more regularly because ceramics is such an expensive um you know venture and anywhere you can kind of save time or money is very valuable and this saved both time and money and i actually love the results so i'm really glad that i experimented with that i was always really afraid of single firing but it, they look amazing um I'll have to kind of research if they're still all dishwash safe, but I think so because they're still technically stoneware. But I'm like so stoked with how these turned out and I think I'm going to keep a couple, a couple of them for myself. I really like this strawberry cup that I made. Um, but yeah, this is how the goose cup turned out. Like I'm just so pleased. It looks like even better than when I bisque fire it. I, I can't explain it. It's kind of, um, the finish is slightly softer and, um, like, I feel like it's just creamier or glossier or something. I'm stoked. Um, like, to find something that's gonna, like, save me so much time is really fun. I also just put a bisque firing in because I have those prop mugs to finish um, tomorrow so I bisked that because they need to drop it on the TV show and I found out which TV show it is it's called The Spooky Files and it's a new ABC Australian kids show um, so that's really exciting and yeah I am catching up with an old friend today hopefully soon and then I'm going to just be monitoring monitoring my firing and also um, sponging some stuff that I made yesterday on the wheel and possibly making some more things this afternoon. So we're really moving into busy season now and I'm working towards like a big build up of the popular style. So it's kind of a bit of a hustle at the moment before November, December, January craziness. So um, I'm just doing my best to kind of make as much as I can every single day. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. Thank you so much for watching this far. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment because it really helps me out. I would love to buy some new equipment once I get to maybe a thousand subscribers. So I'm working towards that goal. Um, but thank you. I love you guys so much. Can't wait for the shop update on the 9th of November. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.